presentation of Fox Sports. We are Baltimore. We are L.A. The Angels have played the A's six times this season, and while there have been a lot of close games, the A's could boast five wins in those contests. Tonight, the Angels hope to build on the momentum of their weekend sweep of the White Sox and 10 wins in their last 13 at home. It's the Angels and A's in a battle atop the American League West. Next. While the sweep of the White Sox certainly was nice, it is now time to get down to business. The Oakland A's, a division-leading Oakland Athletics in town for the first of three tonight. Hi, everybody. From inside the Big A, we welcome you back to Angels Baseball here on Fox Sports West along with Mark Gubas on Victor Rojas. So glad you could join us once again. Now, the uh, last time the Angels faced the Oakland A's at the Coliseum, as a matter of fact, the last time they faced them here at the Big A, Josh Hamlin was not part of that lineup. Josh is back in that lineup swinging the bat nicely so yeah. far. Victor, 348 since coming back with five RBI. And our tools of the trade presented by Ram Trucks, that big tool back in the middle of the line, the left-handed power threat for the Halos. A 295 career hitter against Oakland with 16 home runs, 70 RBIs. He's been hitting the ball to all fields, whether it's a left-handed pitcher or right-handed pitcher. His balance has been great. Definitely a different swing than what we saw last season. At times good, this season has been excellent. That timing, even in spring training, he's been driving the ball so well. To have him back in the line of that presence in there, along with Trout and Polos, you have Hamilton, David Fries, a lot different club here now against Oakland, having Josh Hamilton, a big part of that lineup, back against Oakland and an opportunity to pick up some ground. Now, well, after facing a couple of left-handers, they'll take on a right-hander. Jesse Chavez, a SoCal product on the hill for Oakland. Garrett Richards on the mound for the Angels. We're just about ready for baseball here at the Big A. Sit back and relax. Lineups and first pitch when we return. Angels baseball is brought to you by CarMax. Start to search for your next car at CarMax. CarMax, start here. By AT&T U-verse TV. Check availability at 1-800-PICK-ATT. Rethink possible. By Jack in the Box. Try the new Blazing Chicken Sandwich. It's Jack's hottest sandwich yet. And by Hyundai. Hyundai leaves the rest wanting. Find out why by visiting buyhyundai.com today.
Welcome back out to the Big A for game one of a three-game set against the Oakland Athletics. Garrett Richards and the Angels not wasting any time. They've already taken the field while they are still exchanging the lineup cards just around the home plate area. I like area. that. I like that a lot. That means you want to get out there. Yes, indeed. Show the opposition that that last start against Oakland did not bother him whatsoever. Hopefully Garrett's able to carry over what he did against the Houston Astros into this start tonight. Let's take a look at Bob Melvin starting nine for the first place athletics with a 39 and 24 record. They will have Coco Chris leading things off and he is playing center field. John Jason the DH. Josh Donaldson at third base. Brandon Moss in right field. Joanna Cespedes in left. Jed Lowry the shortstop. Steven Vogt is behind the plate. Alberto Cayaspo at first base and Eric Sogard. It's a start at second base. Taking on Garrett Richards, looking for his sixth one of the season, a 5-2 mark, 3.25 ERA. And Garrett Richards, we talked about him in the pregame show, the importance of being able to get over that front leg and dominate within the strike zone, 5-2 and two mark, 3.25 ERA on the season. But the keys for Richards to be successful, pitch with confidence. Didn't look as confident out in Oakland, certainly did in Houston, and secondary dominance. Get ahead with that fastball, finish off with either his curveball or slider or even occasional changeup. Let's check out the defense behind Garrett Richards tonight. You got Josh Hamilton in left, Mike Trout at center, Cole Calhoun in right. The infield consists of David Freeze, Eric Ibor, Howie Kendrick, and Albert Pujols from third to first with Hank Conger behind the plate. And Hank Conger behind the plate. He's done a fantastic job with Garrett Richards. His two earned runs and three starts, and that's 22 innings. Very comfortable framing pitches for Garrett and keeping the pace going and working with the confidence that Garrett's going to need here tonight against Oakland. Oakland on a nine-game road trip. They are 4-2 and two after taking the series against the Yankees and the Orioles. Coco Crisp ready to lead things off here tonight. Tonight's first pitch being delivered by the UPS store. Coco Crisp hitting 274. Four home runs, 19. Pardon me, 17 runs batted in. Leadoff man in center fielder for these athletics. And the first one tonight is uh, down and in. One ball, no strikes. It's an Oakland team that is tops the American League in on base percentage. Second in home runs, first in runs scored. And they are tops in uh, staff ERA, 2.91. The Angels currently fifth. Two balls and no strikes. Not what you want to do. It mentioned during the uh, open there that this is an Oakland team very patient. Mentioned uh, they uh, walked 11 times yesterday. That's their most in a game since May 18, 2007. So they will wait you out. We saw that in that weekend series at the Coliseum. 3 0. And, and they will wait you out, Victor, if you're not around the strike zone early on. If, if Garrett can come back in this at bat and then continue on from that point, getting that first pitch strike, they will. Indeed, start uh, swinging at fastball's first pitch, but you have to establish that in the strike zone first. There's a strike three and one. Oh, played up by Bill Welke, Bob Davidson over at first base, Johnson Payne over at second, and James Hoy third base. The umpire and crew for the series. Coco thought he had himself a walk. Garrett in that last start, no runs, four hits. And eight innings against the Astros. Full count. Two thirds of an inning against the Oakland A's on May the 30th. Had three walks in that two thirds of an inning. Also allowed five hits, five runs. Three two chopper foul. First base side. Well, that fastball 97 had some serious sink action. And that's the one thing that he did not have uh, a whole lot of in that start against Oakland. Yeah, we talked about how he was pulling across his arm, not finishing off over the front legs. There's more lateral action on his fastball as compared to sinking action. Another 3 2 on the way. The ground ball foul. So it's good to see Garrett back in that strike zone area. Force these Oakland A's to swing the bats a little bit. And always ninth as far as a team batting average at 252. Always key to keep Coco off the bases if you can, if you've guarded it right now.
Yet another 3 2. This is lifted out to left center field. Hit pretty well. Trout giving chase. Looks like he's tracking and calls off Hamilton. Makes the catch, and there's out number one to strike the ball game. Good job of getting back in and getting a fly ball. Hit well by Chris, but the bottom line is Trout's going to run it down. In tonight's game, we are participating in the home run challenge. Tonight, every home run in this game raises $583 for prostate cancer research. You can make a pledge by going online to homerunchallenge.org. So one out, nobody on. John Jaso, the DH, steps to the plate. Jaso hitting 294 on the season. Six home runs, 19 runs batted in. Carrying a 382 on base percentage. He swings the first one and fouls it off to left. Ninety-eight mile an hour fastball from Richards. Last time out, fifty pitches thrown, ninety-five or more miles per hour on his fastball. One ball, one strike. Jay, so last year limited to seven a game because of a concussion that he suffered on. July 25th. Broken bat roller to second. Firewood there. Two down. You've seen some good movement already in this game from Richards. You're seeing a, a concerted effort here to try to slow things down. Try to stay under control and you can see going into that series against Oakland at the Coliseum your game and a half back uh, the team is and you're trying to you know make an impression first game out in that series and try to gain some ground and you can see it on his face you can see it in his delivery Donaldson swings and bounces this one over to third and uh, Garrett was uh, overly amped up and obviously paid the price for it. but here he retires the side in order we'll head to the bottom of the first Calhoun shot of Pujols coming up for the Angels With no score, and we'll check out Mike Sosha starting nine for the Angels on this Monday night. Halos four and a half back of the Oakland Athletics with a 34 and 28 mark. Cole Calhoun will lead things off, and he will play right field after a couple of days off. Mike Trout at center, Albert Pools at first, Josh Hamilton is the cleanup hitter at left, David Freeze at third base, Howie Kendrick at second, Eric Ivar the shortstop, Rolabani is back in the lineup. He is the DH batting eighth for the first time this year. Nick Conger batting ninth. Doing the catching as they take on the 30 year old right hander, product of A.B. Miller High School at Riverside Community College, Jesse Chavez. Jesse Chavez threw the ball extremely well against the Angels early in the year, 88 to 93, maybe even 95 on his four seam fastball. Cut fastball, curveball, change us, but the keys against Chavez always outer half of plate coverage. He will throw that cut fastball away, his fastball away, and pressure him from the outset. Get some base runners and be successful with runners in scoring position early on against them. Chavez making his 13th start of the season. Pressed into the rotation with the injuries that the Oakland A's had in the offseason. 
Cole looks at a strike. Calhoun with sale going Saturday in Quintana yesterday had the uh, last couple of days off. 231 average, four home runs, nine runs batted in. Off speed, rolled foul. And it is quickly 0 and 2. Cole played at Friday night's game. It's two for four in that one. With three runs batted in, a home run, the double. With eight doubles and one triple on the season. Fouled off to the left. Cal remains at no balls and two strikes. Chavez last time out against the Tigers on the 29th. Six innings, three runs, eight hits. Ended up taking a loss in that one. Face the Angels back on April 14th. This one's pulled foul. That one got in on the hands. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of cut fastballs inside on lefties and away against righties from Chavez. He does a good job as far as getting ahead of the count. And he expands the zones and make you hungry as a hitter looking for a fastball, then he cuts it in on you. Frankie pitch, that is bounced over to Eric Sogard. There's out number one. Before Mike Trout steps to the play, we'll take a look at our Hyundai key to the game. Boy, I'm going a little Van Halen right now. A series like this against Oakland. Having a tough season so far against the Oakland. He's 5-1 Oakland is against the Eagles. Right now as we reestablish the battle within this division. The game here tonight, especially with Richards on the hill. If we get some early support to be able to carry that through for the victory. Oakland 22 and 12 on the road this year and 18 and 11 against the West. The Angels are 11 and 17 against the West. There's Trout. One out, nobody on. Mike takes outside. Trout a 293 average, 12 home runs, 43 runs batted in. Had himself a one for five game yesterday. A single. He also scored twice. It's fouled straight back. Gave it's a count at one and one. Chavez in that start against the Angels here. 14. Threw the ball well. This one down to left. And Cespedes is there to make the catch for the second out. Chavez going seven innings. Nine strikeouts. Four hits allowed in that start. Cespedes decided to use his glove this time around. We saw him a couple times in Oakland use the bare hand. He had a couple great throws from the outfield also. He had seven outfield assists this season for Oakland. Bulls five for seven in his career versus Chavez. Got an off-speed pitch and it missed down low. Now we're at a 245 average, 15 home runs, 35 runs batted in. A single yesterday's game. This one's bounced to the right side. Cayaspo deep to his right, almost came up with it. But it's a seeing eye single for Albert Pujols. Had the overshift on. Albert. Alberto Callas with not a lot of experience at first base to begin with, but in middle infield by Trey Jones, a pretty good range, almost able to come up with that one. That would have been a very difficult throw. Off balance and try to find the pitcher covering the base. One of the reasons why I think you have to pressure him today at first base, Callaspo, not a lot of experience there. Hamilton takes downstairs. Hamilton with three straight multi-hit games. Overall average of 400, three home runs, 11 runs batted in. Found back. He was counted one and one. Yesterday a double and a single, three RBIs. And two for four. Chavez does not waste any time on the mound. He just gets it and goes. That is ripped into center field. That'll get down for base hit. So Pujols advances to second. Hamilton continues to break. Right away, that presence in the lineup against Oakland. Josh Hamilton, his first start against Oakland this season. It's a fastball up, right back up the middle. Good smooth swing on that one from Hamilton.
So David Freeze will bat with two on, two outs. 231 average. A couple of home runs. 12 runs batted in. Six game hitting streak. Had four walks yesterday for the first time in his career as the breaking ball is in there. Four doubles on the season for Freeze. No balls, two strikes. No Reddick in the outfield here for Oakland, so you can be more aggressive as far as challenging outfielders, except for Cespedes out in left field if there's a base hit into the outfield. One and two now. And we saw the Angels try to challenge Cespedes not once but twice in one inning, and Cespedes coming out victorious on both occasions. Halos 11 for 27 with men in scoring position against the White Sox. Two on now. Breaking pitch, little tapper foul. Protecting with two strikes. Back to back singles with two outs here. The first pools in Hamilton. Oh, cloud cover early tonight. Another one, two from Chavez. And he got him swinging. And the Angels will leave a couple of men on. We've played one here at the Big A, and we're scoreless when we return. We will give you the updated totals for National League voting for the All Star game coming up in Minneapolis. No score. Brandon Moss to lead things off. Hey, folks, the All-Star Game will be played Tuesday night, July 15th. And tonight we're proud to announce the latest round of voting for the National League. It's Troy Tulowitzki leading all National League vote-getters. Just over 2 million votes. And Yadier Molina at 1.6. Yasiel Puig at 1.4 million. Don't miss the Home Run Derby on ESPN Monday, July 14th. The All-Star Game on only on Fox, by the way, on Tuesday night, July 15th. Target Field in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Moss getting to start in right field. Looks at a fastball for a strike. Some serious power out there in center and right field for the National League at this point with Giancarlo standing on field. Weed. Carlos Gomez takes exception to that, mister. <laughs> He's got the best bat flip, though, of anybody. Well, Puig's pretty good, too, though. Maestro. Yes. <laughs> so Mr. Scully called it. Maestro. The maestro of the bat flip. Two balls and a strike on Moss. 279 average, 16 home runs, 53 runs batted in. A grand slam yesterday, his second of the season. The first, of course, was against Garrett Richards. And that started on the 30th. At the time, that was his first of his career. 
Swing and a miss. Two and two. Now that was the pitch. It was so important for him in Houston, getting back in the counts and finishing off hitters with a hard slider. Boy, 88 mile an hour slider. First one that any Oakland A's hitter has seen so far in this game, and that was a sharp, tight slider. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. The old emergency hack there. The pitch was up and away. Coming up later in the game, we'll check out the American League scoreboard on the Carl's Jr. Sports Update. Team in the AL West. Pitching staff is red hot on the road trip. Four shutouts for a team that's playing very well in the, within this division. Looking forward to that. As well as the, uh, the updated totals for the American League uh, boat getters, the All Star game. And an old friend back in uniform for Minnesota. That's right. Cespedes pulls the first one into left field toward the corner. Hamilton over to cut it off. Cespedes good speed. He's easily going to get to second with a double. First base runner of the game for the Athletics. And what you're seeing already in this game, Victor, they're more aggressive first pitch. Seen it a couple times already. Reason? Because Richards has got, came back in that account against Crisp and then has thrown strikes ever since. And Cespedes gets all over that fastball that was elevated. Now, Richards' fastball is excellent. When it's above the belt, it's not as good as when it's sinking down or cutting down around the knee level. It straightens out upstairs, and that's what Cespedes got there for a double. Here's Jed Lowry with a man in scoring position. So shooting shortstop. And he'll look at a strike. Lowry, 235 average, four home runs, 24 runs batted in. Second season with the Athletics. Freeze off the line at third as Lowry lays off the breaking ball. Pretty good curveball. That started above the belt and landed almost in the dirt. Legit 12 to 6 break on this curveball. Now you don't know what the uh, the results are going to be at the end of the night, but uh, you got to feel like after that uh, plate appearance by Coco Chris, but Garrett gained a little confidence. And it looked like he went around and he did. And he's getting some swings at odd looking swings against him in this game. That one right there on another slider. And even the pitch that Moss swung and missed on a fastball. He wasn't committed to swing. He was thinking all speed, yet he got a fastball. Boy, sharp slider from Lowry. Couldn't get stop the swing. That was a perfect pitch down and in. Especially after the curveball just missed the strike zone from Richards against him the pitch before. One, two, lifted out toward. Eric Ibar, the shortstop. Two down. And inside with a fastball. They could be saying all the same. Confidence. We're talking about confidence. These guys are big leaguers. They don't. But when you you go through a situation like Garrett did two starts ago, you don't want it to affect the mindset. You want it to to kind of linger and all of a sudden say, oh, oh, here they come again. And I'm all of a sudden I'm three and zero on Coco Chris. What's going to happen here? Exactly. Then he got that borderline fastball three zero, and then he kicked it in from that particular point. And there's still a long way to go in this yep. game, but early on his stuff looks very good and comfortable and confident. Breaking ball down low, one ball, no strikes on Stephen Vogt, the catcher. Two sixty three average, one double, two runs batted in. Vogt playing in his seventh game. He was called up while the Angels were in Oakland. Able to throw sliders for strikes to get back in the counts. So important for every pitcher, but more so for Richards. Because then he can expand the strike zone with that slider and get a swing and miss.
This one's looped out to shallow left field. Hamilton will play it on a hop. Cespedes will commit the score. A bleeder of a base hit off the bat of vote in Oakland. Strikes first. They lead it 1-0. do a whole lot with that fastball but flared it into left field for a base hit that thigh high had some late movement off the end of the bat but placed well in the outfield for an RBI for vote it's third of the season so a two out single puts a, a run on the board for Oakland and Alberto Cayaspa will step up Alberto getting the start at first base tonight. 225, three home runs, and 20 runs batted in. Fourteenth game at first base this year for Kayaspo. Shoots this one to left. Hamilton is there. That'll end it for the Athletics, but they do strike for a run on a couple of two-out hits. At the bottom of the second, one nothing Oakland. One nothing Oakland coming up later in the game. We'll bring you the AT&T fan photo of the game But we need your help Tweet us your photo using hashtag West fan photo it could be shown in an upcoming out broadcast Kendrick I bar and it for the Angels here in the second Halo's at uh, two Two out singles in the first inning, but free struck out down the inning Now we're hitting 286 three home runs 25 runs batted in after spending Last two games in that leadoff spot last night, or yesterday afternoon, I should say, two for four, a couple of singles and a walk. Ten doubles, three triples for Kendrick. How are we so far? 0 for 7 against Chavez. Pretty surprising considering he throws a lot of fastballs and cut fastballs away. Two balls and no strikes. That plays into the swing for Howie Kendrick. He hit the ball well to the right field against him. Two and one. Job is a guy that uh, really hadn't been much of a starter throughout his career. I mean, when he signed in 03, started some games in 04, the minor leagues, 22 starts, but then a reliever up until uh, AAA in 2012 with the Blue Jays. This was fouled off the right, two and two. Throw strikes, works quickly. So there's a lot of friends and family here at the game here tonight. Watch and pitch, Riverside Community College. 42nd round pick of the Texas Rangers back in 02. 2 2 now. 
A triple foul on the third base side. Chavez is pitching the big leagues with Pittsburgh, Atlanta, Kansas City, Toronto, and of course uh, the Oakland A's. Good arm and a competitor. Always like the way he competes. Another 2 2. This is fouled back to the right. All right, front row with the leather. Nice catch by a fan. The stands are filling it nicely. Yes. Tied him up with the high fastballs of back to back strikeouts for Chavez. One down. Hey, folks, on Wednesday, the Angels will be taking on these athletics in game three. That game will start at 7.05. Fans in attendance will receive an Angels tote bag courtesy of MLB Network. Richard's tickets at the Angels City Ticket Officer by logging on at angels.com. So one out, nobody on, and Eric Ibar at the plate. I have our four for six. This is an opportunity for Eric to challenge Kayaspo too with a drag bunt. First pitch strike. Eric had a one for four game yesterday, hitting 282. That breaking ball is in there, 0 and 2. A lot of strikes early on for Chavez. 27 pitches, 21 strikes. This one rolled over to first base. Caspo will uh, face to the bag just ahead of his buddy. Two outs. So base is clear for Abadia as a DH. First one. Almost got him in the hip. Roll last played Thursday against Houston. Lifts this one out to right. Brandon Boss is there. The Chavos with a 1 2 3 shutdown inning. We'll head to the third, and it's Oakland 1, Angels nothing. The start right here for Richards, the head moving out of the strike zone. The arm is flying open, hips open, elevated, breaking ball. Not a lot of success against Oakland, but here, perfect up and down as far as his arm motion. If you get over the front leg against Houston, different break on that break of ball, 12-6. The difference, because he stayed within his mechanics, did not fly open like he did on left side, right side. 
textbook as far as mechanics for Richards. Those are the numbers we were talking about in his last two starts. But I always look at those walks. Zero walks in eight innings, three walks in two thirds. Reason overthrowing, flying open on his left shoulder. Eric Sogard, ninth place hitter and second baseman, takes a strike. Sogard, Crispin, Jaso for the A's here in the third. 200 average for Eric Sogard. Five double seven runs batted in. His 46th game. Well, Tapper foul. I'm still a believer against Sogard. You bring your left fielder in shallow, and you see Hamilton play a little more shallow here in left field against Sogard. Pitch him away, allow him to hit that fly ball to left field. We were playing a lot deeper in Oakland. He had a couple hits just in front of the left fielder last game. Ended up going three for four against the Angels in that start. One ball, two strikes. Good movement on that fastball at 97. Sogard with uh, good numbers in his career against the Angels. Now the one two. Now it's off his right leg, rolls up the third base line. So got a 342 career hitter against the Angels in 25 games. That's the highest batting average that he has against any team in which he's played at least 10 games against. One two again. Called strike three, down goes Sogard. 98 with some movement. One down. Talk about textbook mechanics, hitting your spot with a fastball with that movement in 98. Front shoulder, look how long he kept that front shoulder in and then finishes off the fastball, hits the target perfectly for the call third strike. They must have said something to Bill Welke, the home plate umpire, because Sogard was walking back and Welke was kind of following him back with his eyes. Second strikeout for Garrett. There's Coco Crisp with a fly ball to left center field that was caught by Mike Trout to lead off the game. Oakland getting their run in the second inning. Double by Cespedes with one out. And then with two outs, Boat just off the end of the bat, flared one to left. 11 game hitting streak for Coco. One ball, one strike. Yeah, it was a changeup. It's pretty good to have a 90 mile an hour changeup. What was that like when you were pitching? <laughs> I could throw a 90 mile an hour changeup if I was throwing from 15 feet away. <laughs> Is it mind boggling to you to see some of the velocities, especially on the off speed stuff? Like Strasburg for, for the Nationals, yeah. his changeup is like 89 to 91. But there is enough differential between his fastball and changeup. That's a good one because his curveball is at 79 and his sliders at 88. So you got varying speeds on all four of his pitches. One, two now. Down it is. It's two balls and two strikes. So is it 89, 90 on a changeup? For Richards, it's very effective because it gets it. It's almost like that BP fastball, batting practice fastball we, we talk about. 98 best fastball so far curveball 70 that's nearly 20 miles an hour difference But that change up going back to that 89 90 they're reading fastball at least they think but they're out in front They might get a flare into the outfield, but they're gonna it's gonna be off the end of the bat Full count well, you're feeling pretty good about yourself when you were living in the uh, 89 90 91 range the freaks of nature were the guys that are hitting 95. Yeah, that was a, the guy who had the best fastballs, yeah. like the Brett Saber Hagens and Roger Clemens. That was a firm fastball, 95. It's average now. <laughs> <laughs> that gets you set to Triple A now. Payoff pitch to Chris. Breaking ball foul. Threw a great one too. Coco did a nice job of keeping his head bat alive. So full count. And when you're successful against Coco Crisp, you're able to throw your curveball or changeup. 
He's very quick on a fastball. He's quick on a slider also, but a slow curveball and a changeup, he gets himself out a lot. John Jaso on deck. One out here in the third. Oakland leading at one nothing. Down to the first. Albert will take it himself. Two down. Boyce has gotten Chris Bat on three two counts. Coco a little bit uncomfortable when he went by the base to try to avoid pull holes. So Jason now up, two outs, nobody on. Oakland's DH grounded out to Howie Kendrick in the first. You look at a breaking ball first strike. Well, I'm so glad he went with that slider. I was thinking along with Richards, don't go fastball first pitch inside because that's what Jason is going to try to hit hard. There's a fastball in. Looks like Jason's kind of adjusted his stance a little bit. More upright. Maybe a little further apart. Squatted down more yeah, so. Yeah, he's with more lift on his swing. Yeah, he's straight up and down. Slightly open stance and then closes it. It's usually a pretty good indication when you see a hitter with a stance like that. He might have a tough time on a good slow breaking ball though. Just from a timing mechanism. Exactly. Two one now. Just missed outside. Three balls and a strike. Josh Donaldson on deck. I don't see too many guys that that stance anymore. Being close together. I'm trying to think of a guy that's had a stance like that lately. Three two got the inside corner full count. Isn't Johnny walking fuss. One of the great names in baseball. Tigers, right? Yes. Did his stance? Yes. Kind of very like similar. That? Very similar. Payoff pitch. Broken bat roller. That'll be the second bat that uh, Jason's broken. Three balls and two strikes and two outs. Garrett had himself a one, two, three first inning. There's five batters in the second with the two hits allowed. And that hit up. Overthrow breaking ball down and in. Two out, hit by pitch, puts a man on for Donaldson. Right pitch, just overthrown slider. The fourth batter that uh, Garrett has hit this year. Fourth time that uh, Jason has been plunked. So brings up Donaldson, the third baseman, grounded out his first time up. It's a good time for Hank to come back out and talk with Richards. Know the importance of this batter right here, Donaldson. Had some good swings against the Angels this year. 393, as a matter of fact, batting average against the Angels this year with two home runs and eight RBI. Yeah, now six for 19 against Garrett in his career with that ground down in the first. Is that a, a, a difficult road trip? Four for 27 now. That includes tonight's game. But always a, a dangerous guy. All it takes for him is to have one good at bat, and all of a sudden you feel like he gets locked back in. 1 0. Breaking ball. That's a beauty. Important pitch against him. If you can establish you can throw your slider or curveball for a strike, you can expand the strike zone and get him looking breaking ball and get the fastball by him. Short lead for Jaso at first base. The 1-1 pitch. 
That is up and in. Watch out. Look at that fastball just sailed on Garrett. Two balls and a strike. And that's a product of a hitter looking for a breaking ball away. When four seam fastball, when he drops his elbow, you're going to create that kind of running action on a fastball. That's not by design. Evens up the count. Take a grip by Donaldson. Josh is one of those guys that uh, seldom gets cheated with his hacks. And a hanging breaking ball to boot. Couldn't stay back long enough. Normally, that's a, a dangerous pitch to throw. Fifty pitches thrown by Garrett. This will be the 51st. Out in front of the breaking ball. Well, I'm tempted right now if I'm Richards to paint a fastball in the outside corner. Keep it down. Right around knee level. Like that's what Conger is calling for. And it's overthrown. So full count. Jason with two outs will be on the move over at first base. Twenty-five pitches thrown by Garrett here in this third. Two strikeouts, no walks. Two hits allowed. Pools playing behind Jace at first base. Runner goes. 3 2 out the left. Not hit very deep. Hamilton having to move to his right, though. Makes the catch on the run, and that'll do it for the Athletics here in the third. Right in the bottom of the third, Conger Calhoun and Trout coming up down 1 0. Let's take a look at the National League scoreboard tonight. Chicago losers to Pittsburgh 6-2. The Dodgers, Scott Van Slyke, a couple of home runs for the Dodgers. They beat Cincinnati. Atlanta leading 2-1 over Colorado. That's where we go next on the next road trip. Washington leading San Francisco. San Francisco has been fantastic this season. Washington leading that with 2-1. And Arizona down 4-1 to one to Houston. The Astros playing well. Hitting the ball well. Both Bay Area teams playing very well. 42 wins for the Giants. 39 for the Athletics coming into this one. 
And Conger gets hit on the uh, elbow. I think he wears that protective guard. I hope that's what he's wearing because that was a weird that sound. That was loud up here. Yeah. He's got that elbow guard on. Grabbing that pinky, that means uh, that, that tingling that from the tingling, yeah. arm all the way down to the fingers. Been there, not fun. We hope that that padding on that area absorbed most of that velocity on the fastball. Fastball in. Look, look, he got the pad, yeah. but still. That was a firm fastball. And no way for Hank to get out of the way of that one. So just take a hammer and hit your funny ball. Exactly what it feels like. Well, the Angels get a, a leadoff hit by pitch. Hank on board. Cole Calhoun now at the plate. Calhoun grounded out. Eric Sogard in the first inning. Good pitch to drive. And one thing you have to do against Chavez, you have to bring him down in the strike zone. We talked about that in between innings last inning. If you swing at that high fastball against him, you're going to be in trouble. Bring the fastball down. It's 90-91, becomes a hittable fastball, but up at 90-91, unhittable. Off speed pitch down the way. Conger takes off. This one's foul down the right field line. Hit run action. Just got it in enough on the inside part of the play where Cole could keep that ball fair. But you have to commit to a swing with a hit and run going, especially with Hank Conger running. You have to make some sort of contact. Good to see that from the Angels. Have not seen a whole lot of it lately. Now one ball, two strike count with Calhoun at the plate. Conker at first base. Trout on deck. One nothing Oakland. Two out base hit by Steven and Boat. Bringing home Cespedes in the second. This one's looped out to shallow left center field. Coco Chris not going to get there. Conger turns the corner. will head to third as Cespedes cuts it off. Boy, that's some serious aggressive base running, but read it well. Anticipating that Coco Chris was going to feel that ball. That's why the commitment was there to go first to third by Hank Conger. And then Cespedes trying to get around the baseball, spin around the throw, but couldn't handle the baseball, falls out of his glove. And Hank reads that. He knows that that ball is going to fall into the outfield grass. Good read from Conger, thinking Coco is going to feel that, but Cespedes ran in front of him, but could not handle the baseball. Good decision by Hank Conger to be aggressive. So it'll bring up Trout with nobody out. Runners at the corners. Trout a fly ball to left in the first inning. 0 for 1. Calhoun with two stolen bases on the year. He's not been caught. Handles with 37 on the season. Puts him seventh in the American League. Trout asking for time there. Out to center field, hit well. Coco Chris was playing deep back at the wall, leaps up, makes the catch. 
Conger will tag it, come in to score. Hustling back to first is Calhoun. We are tied at one. Boy, what a catch by Coco Chris. Perfect swing from Trout. I've seen now Coco make some unbelievable plays here at the Big A throughout his career, no matter what uniform he's been wearing. Track that well, leaps up, perfect timing, up against the wall. Holds on to it as he collides into the wall as the ball goes in the glove, but the job is done by Mike Trout. Sack fly. Even a 44 RBI, but what a play by Coco Chris. Never took his eye off the baseball into the glove, knowing the contact is going to be made as he catches it. Would have stayed in the yard unless it popped from the glove over the fence, but uh, what a great read on it. 44th run batted in for Trout, a 1-1 game here in the third. What a swing, too, from Trout. Calhoun was uh, pretty much all the way to second base, retouched the bag, and it had to hustle back to first. Albert got jammed and punched a single to the right side of the first inning. This is one for one. I think Albert would like that pitch back. That's that inner half fastball. We got to stop saying that. I'm hoping he gets that one right back. <laughs> I think we've said that way too often here, Blake. This one's Luke Fowl into the seats on the first base side with 0 and 2. He threw him a cut fastball that ran back, though. Almost into that zone we were hoping he'd throw a fastball. Pretty good lead for Calhoun at first. 0 oh, 2 now. This one's out to right. Moss is there. Two outs. So Hamilton will bat with the man at first base. Josh one for one as he sinks at the center field the first. Four game hitting streak now for Hamilton. Throwing him off with a change up this time. Eight hits for Josh over the last four games, and that includes tonight. Pitch is thrown by Travers. He's an extrater with Condor getting hit by a pitch on the right elbow. Calhoun with a flare single. Chow with the uh, sack fly. What's up? Making sure David Freeze is awake over there in the uh, on deck circle. First two pitches, I didn't think it was a, a good opportunity for Cole Calhoun to go. But now on an 0-2 pitch. Not a bad opportunity, anticipating something off speed. Fifth time Chavez has been ahead of the count 0 2. Pitch out. They were anticipating it as well. Calhoun takes off and Hamilton strikes out swinging, but the Angels do tie it up on a sack fly by Mike Trout. We're through three and we're tied at one.
Garrett Richards back to work here, and he'll be facing four, five, and six for the Oakland A's. Moss, Cespedes, and Lowry. Garrett with two strikeouts, two hits allowed, one hit batter. Both starters have hit a batter. Garrett at 53 pitches after throwing 26 last inning. Moss a strikeout victim his first time up. He came leading off the second inning. A nasty pitch down and in. Again, getting back into account with his slider. And that's what he was doing uh, for the most part early on this year. Fell behind, wasn't afraid. And Make it back into counts on his off speed stuff. Boy, that's a great fastball. That is 97. It looks like a split finger fastball. And this starts at the knees and ends up in the dirt. And keep in mind, this is a fastball. It's not a split finger fastball. That's the type of movement that Garrett creates when he stays down in the strike zone. Two balls, two strikes. And movement that uh, was not existent in that start against Oakland at the Coliseum. Remember, like we talked about, it's lateral movement upstairs. His fastball becomes hittable when it's above the knees. Belt high becomes hittable. Even though it's still firm, becomes hittable. Swing and a miss. Down goes Moss. And there's the first down here in the fourth. Good. And we talked about his mechanics. So comfortable on the mound. Quiet, slow, deliberate, front shoulder is in, over the front leg, head on the target, and then snaps that slider at the very end. Hitter reads fastball, the rotation to seams, thinks he's on that one, and down and in for a swing and miss. A good separation of the hands, too, timing-wise. It's all about that comfort and slow movement over the pitching rubber to start with, not muscling up. Yoannis Cespedes to left fielder looks at the strike. Doubled and scored in the second. Double his 17th of the year. Oh, with two. Boy, oh, paint. 97 mile an hour fastballs. I don't even mess around. I go to same fastball again away. With a breaking ball. One ball, two strikes. A really nice crowd here. Well, this Monday night. Big series for the Angels. Four and a half back in the West. Just one and five against the Athletics this year. Out back. Well, you can see the reaction from Garrett. He got around that slider. Knew he was too quick on his delivery. We got away with it. It was just in enough where uh, Cespedes, it wasn't a hanger. But he saw that rotation in the slider, and he was thinking that's a, a baseball that can crush. Now, most hitters' eyes, uh, they yes. balloon up when they see that, that cement mixer up there. Two balls, two strikes. Sixty three pitches, thirty nine of its strikes for Garrett. Two hits for the A's and three so far for the Angels. Foul back. Bill Welke will give Hank an opportunity to kind of shake that one off. From the right shoulder area, throwing arm. They got the right elbow, now the right shoulder. We're just in the fourth, Hank. <laughs> Hang in there. Oh, catching position. That's why a pitcher always has to protect and take care of his catcher.
Lowry on deck. One out here in the fourth. Chopper foul. Mike Gallego, the third base coach, never flinching on Evan. Good decision. Always had good hands playing infield, whether it's second or short, but decided that's a wise decision to stay away from that baseball without a glove. Going back outside. Breaking pitch, and that's looped out to right center field. That's going to fall in for a hit. So Cespedes is two for two tonight. Both times with one out. I'll bring up Lowry. Richards popped Lowry up to Ibar in the second inning. Lowry's a guy that uh, can roll into a double play ball and has seven times this year. Good start to the year, but uh, struggled since then. Want to know? As a team, Oakland has rolled into 52 double plays. Larry, nice first season with Oakland last year at 290. 15 home runs, 75 runs batted in. The RBI is a uh, career high for him. A career high 16 for the Astros two seasons ago. It's two balls and no strikes. Hank's going to go out and uh, pay a visit here. A residual after that uh, little battle against Cespedes. Oakland getting a run in the second. Base hit by Stephen Boat. The Angels tying it up in the third. Not a full slate of games today, being a Monday, so teams have off days. One game postponed. And Royals and the Yankees washed out today in Kansas City. 2-0 down. This one's out to left. Hamilton is there. Two down. Hey, folks, the Angels will host the Texas Rangers on June the 20th at 7.05. And guess what? Fans of Tendis will receive an Angels cowboy hat, courtesy of Pachanga Resort and Casino, while supplies last. So get your hoe down on. Purchase your tickets today by visiting the Angels Stadium ticket office or by logging on at angels.com. Are we going to wear that for the opening? Absolutely. Norm's two stepping back, back, back here behind us. <laughs> I wonder why Norm was wearing spurs today. <laughs> Chaps. Vote looks at a strike. RBI single for him, picking up his third RBI. No balls, two strikes. Good slider, good sequence so far here. Fastball away, 96. Hard slider down and in. So time if you're Josh Hamilton, you take a few steps in, then you go for Garrett Richards to that fastball away. Oh, was having a good season at Triple A Sacramento before the call up. Breaking ball. Didn't finish. One and two. Hey, pitch count getting up there for Garrett. And you got to keep in mind with Hector Santiago getting the start tomorrow and. Replacing Tyler Skaggs, who went on the disabled list, put some tightness in his hamstring. Mike Sosha would love to see some length in this game and some quality pitches from Garrett Richards. Fortunate yesterday that uh, Joe Smith threw two thirds of an inning, three area one after CJ went seven and a third. 
Two balls, two strikes. Tyler Skaggs hanging out on the bench and uh, we'll go on the disabled list. Hamstring issue. It's a shame. He's done a very good job in the rotation for the Angels here this year. Retroactive, of course, to uh, June the 5th, his last start, and that was against the Astros. 2 2 now. Full count. And I still think that 0 2 pitch, you go right with that fastball initially and then trust Hamilton's ability to track down a baseball. Now you got a full count. You allow Cespedes to go on the move. Five full counts in this game for Richards. And a lot of those uh, starting ahead of the count. Cespedes getting a head start here, 3 2. This one's out to center. Trout is there. And we will head to the bottom of the fourth here at the big end. Freeze, Kendrick and Ivar coming up for the Angels in a 1 1 game. And we showed you the uh, National League uh, vote total up to date. Here's the American League balloting. Mike Trout at 1.945 million, but it's Jose Bautista with that lead at 2.1 million. Come on, Angel fans, get out there. Yeah, July 15th, the All Star game from Target Field in Minneapolis, only on Fox. Don't forget the Home Run Derby will be the night before on ESPN. You can vote at MLB.com or any of the uh, team sites through July the 3rd. Serious talent on that American League roster as of this point. The All Star balloting. Yeah, I saw Matt Weeters is leading the catching vote total. He uh, was to visit with Dr. Andrews, the uh, the throwing program that he's been on. Not uh, going so well. He's still experiencing some pain. So, see what happens with uh, with that. Big blow to the Orioles. Breeze a strikeout victim at the first. Takes a strike and it evens the count at one and one. Three punch outs for Chavez. No walks. Three hits allowed. He hit a man that was Conger leading off the third. Eventually came around to score the tying run. One and two. And Chavez, for the most part, especially against right hitters, he'll show you one in. And it's away. Yep. Like we said, look away. He might try to go upstairs with a fastball now. Or overthrow a curveball in the dirt. Always shot if you're a hitter that's got bad numbers against a pitcher and he throws a pitch like that. Just take a swing after the fact and then just start running the start first running. with two strikes <laughs> just to try to get on base. Let's get on base. 2 2. Breaking ball, a little bit high. Full count. First full count for Jesse Chavez. 3 2. Jab him. 
And that fastball in. That had some serious movement in 92. Yeah. I don't think that was by design. He was trying to force that fastball away, but it ended up dropping his elbow and ran it inside on freeze. Yeah, you go back and watch it. Bo was, he wanted that pitch outside. And he walked him. The laid off walk puts a man on board here to start this fourth. Nick Kendrick coming up now. We'd like to welcome those watching tonight's broadcast on AFN, the American Forces Network, broadcasting to the U.S. Armed Forces, serving in 175 countries and aboard ships at sea. They're watching around the world in Iraq, Germany, Italy, Southwest Asia, South Korea, and Japan. We thank you for your service, and we welcome you to our broadcast. Well, that's five walks in the last two games for David Freeze. No one count on Howie. The last six plate appearances for David Freeze, five full count walks. I mentioned yesterday that four walk performance, the uh, first time he's ever done that in his career. Howie 0 for 1, he struck out his first time up. That got his jersey. Up. Yep. Finley, he's just showing fastball in. He's not trying to get you out. He's trying to open up the outer part of the plate. Right now, but then he got the jersey of Howie Kendrick. See, see right there, getting the jersey. If you're going to get hit, that's where you want to get hit. <laughs> Let the jersey absorb all the discomfort. Well, the uniforms are worn uh, a little blousier nowadays, right? Oh, yeah. Not the old skin tag unis. Yes, indeed. Right, Mark? I don't recall. Fun <laughs> situation here for Eric Ibar. Donaldson in on the grass. Kayaspa creeping in over at first base. Not showing Bonnie takes a strike. Eric grounded out to Kayaspa the second. Donaldson in about uh, three, four steps on that infield grass. Ibar is four for seven. In this career versus Chavez. Chespin is shallow and left. Crisp and Moss and center and right respectively playing straight up and at normal depth. And he yanks this one foul down the right field line. So the Angels not playing small ball. As Raul Abanya is on deck. And it's no balls at two strikes. Eric has been a run producer this year though. He's been pretty good in these opportunities and perhaps that's why Sosa's Allowing him to swing. 35 runs batted in. He takes downstairs. He's tied for second as far as RBI for the club. He and Albert trailing Trout. He picked up his 44th earlier tonight. Hits it sharply to second, but Sogard will flip it to Lowry on the first double play. Freeze advances to third, but there are two outs. Well, he hit it hard, but rated Sogard good, real good feed to Lowry to be able to complete a 4 6 3 double play. Just the second double play that uh, Eric has hit into this year. And Ibanez will stroll to the plate. 0 for 1. A fly ball to right in the second. Breaking pitch. Looped out to shallow left field. Donaldson going out. Cespedes can't get it. And it falls in for an RBI single. And the Angels have a 2-1 to one lead. Boy, Phil Mickelson will be proud of that sandwich right there. And with the overshift on, there was nothing Donaldson can do. It would have been interesting had Lowry been on that side of the field. Well, most times you're going to get a flare into the outfield. It's going to be an elevated pitch. It's a hanging breaking ball. And there's nothing Donaldson. He's just running to an area at that point. There's no way he's going to be able to catch that one. It ends up being a line drive RBI base hit for Abanez. Missile in the box score. As Conger takes ball one, Hank hit by a pitch and a run scored to the third. So the Angels with a 2-1 lead here in the fourth. Oakland scored their run on a flare by Vogt to left field. The Angels getting their second run on a flare by Abanez in the left field. A 
Banyas takes off to throw down to second base, and that is in time. So Banyas caught stealing. Bond, his base hit, puts the Angels on top for through four. Two to one Halos. Or Fiat 500L. Visit FiatUSA.com. By Time Order Cable. Enjoy better. Call 1 855 Watt TWC. By the new 2014 Camry at your Toyota dealer today. We make it easy. And by ATT, mobilizing your world. 2 1 Angels here at the top of the fifth inning. Garrett Richards back to work. Three strikeouts, three hits allowed. He'll face 8 9 and 1. For the Oakland A's here, the fifth, Kayaspo, Sogard, and Crisp. There with 26 pitches in the third, 22 in the fourth, so he comes into this inning with 75. Alberto, over one, a fly ball to left field. To end the second. Looking for a. Uh, Quick shut down at it. Two it up. Two oh pitch to Kayaspo. I was in there, two and one. Well, Kayaspo didn't like that one. Bill Welkin calling it strike zone in the upper. Part of the zone. Lifted out to left center. Hamilton racing over. It's tailing back toward him. One out. Hamilton's been busy. Four fly ball outs his way. So two fly ball outs to uh, Hamilton for Alberto Cayaspa. So for two, here's Eric Sogar. Struck out looking, leading off the third. Ground ball to the left side. Sounded like he broke his back. There you go. One pitch out, two down. You like to see that Good play on that one by Freeze. That's a difficult little late hop. Able to recover. He's playing in. Let's buy him able to field it. Turn around. Throw out Sogard. The last hop. Almost got by him. Freeze gathers himself. Good throw. Second out of the inning. A quick one pitch out. Top of the order and Coco Crisp. 
0 for 2. A fly ball to center and a ground ball to first. Just off the plate. 96 on that last fastball. Oakland with a run on three hits. They've left three men on base. The Angels two runs, four hits. They've also stranded three. So Coco and Welke talking things out here before he steps back at the batter's box. It was ball one, right? That's what I thought. It's odd you see a conversation like that when the call went your way. Maybe he felt it should have been called a strike. Well, that's what it was. That would be a first. <laughs> that would be a first. Excuse me, sir. I believe you were wrong. That should strike. be called a strike. And I will take my medicine. Here's the 1-1. One, 1-2. One. One That's a great fastball, 96. One, two on the way to Coco. It's upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Oakland took a one nothing lead in the second, a two out single by Volk. But Hope Cespedes, the Angels tied it in the third. Sack fly by Trout. Two run lead on the Abanias, single to left. Trying to complete a one, two, three inning. Two, two now. Ground ball to third. Freeze has it. A one, two, three inning for Garrett Richards. Second time tonight. He's retired the side in order. We're headed to the bottom of the fifth. Still two to one Angels. Free frame for Garrett Richards, two to one Halos. Want to remind you this Saturday, catch a full day of MLB action beginning with the Twins and Kentris Morales taking on Miguel Cabrera and the Tigers on Fox Sports One. Then it's Baseball Night in America on Fox as Mike Trout and the Halos take on the Atlanta Braves. Our MLB doubleheader begins Saturday, 1 p.m. Pacific on Fox Sports One and continues at 4 p.m. Pacific on Fox. Kentris with one for three in his debut as a Minnesota Twin. Hey, Conger pushes the butt on the third base side. That will go as an infield base hit. And, and it an goes error. in. Yeah, that was nice to be able to see that go in to the stands. Illivised throw from Donaldson. That's his 10th error of the season. The old combination platter, the hit with the error.
Boy, a perfect bunt right down the line from Hank Conger. And the throw from Donaldson, you have no chance to get Conger going down the line. And fortunately enough, it goes into the stanzas. Alfredo was pointing for Hank to go, but he was not committed to going at that point. But it went into the stands, he advances the second. Calhoun rips one out toward left center field. Coco Chris giving chase, and at the wall, he will track it down. Hank was on his way to third. Oh, you got to stay right back at second base and tag up. That was a good at bat for Calhoun, getting the job done, an effective, productive out. And Mike Sosha, you can tell by that look. Especially with Coco, the way he covers the ground in the outfield. He's not even going to attempt to throw. He's just going to yeah. get that ball right back in to the cutoff man. But he's tracking it down right away at the wall. But Hank all the way towards third. That's it. You're exactly right. You hang around the bag there a couple of feet off. Once you see the outfielder tracking it, you're tagging. So Trout up with a man at scoring position. One out. Especially it allows Trout to come up with the man on third. Trout 0 for 1. A fly ball to left in the first. And hit that missile down to center field that Coco made a terrific play on at the wall. Went for a sacrifice fly, picked up his 44th run, batted in. Tied him up. One ball, one strike. We go back and revisit the Hyundai key to the game. In this series right now, the importance of putting it all together in this game so far has been pretty solid. Timely hit by Abani. He's not exactly crushed, but a base hit given the Angels lead. Garrett Richards, very good so far. And some solid defense. But the need to add on here. Breaking ball down the way. Two balls, one strike with Pujols on deck. Bonpe said for Hank, to fifth hit for the Angels tonight. Foul off to the right. Just 65 pitches thrown by Chavez. Three strikeouts, one walk, one hit batter. That's out to right center field. And that ball's hit pretty well. Moss going back at the wall. That one is off the top of the wall. You're getting a home run signal. No, they're calling it a home run. How about that? That's amazing power. We'll see if Bob Melvin comes out. Right now, as it stands, it's a, a two-run home run. Bob Davidson signaled right away a home run. And they will go out and talk. Bob Melvin's walking out. But what a swing from Trout. He almost homered. His last at bat got a sack fly to center. This is the right center field. That short, compact swing, not many hitters in the game could do what Trout can do. I'm not sure that ball got out. With some fans hanging over. Well, and that's it looked like it's above the line. Now there's a guy with a glove there. You wonder if the, the glove came over the yellow line. They're going to review it. That's, that is tough to see. The other thing, too, it's got to be definitive, right? To change it, yes. Yeah. That's going to be real close. You got two hands and a glove. I don't even really know if it hit the glove. It looks like it's beyond past the glove. I'll tell you what, these calls are so tough. The crew was out in New York. They've had some extremely difficult decisions to make. Well, if it stands, it would be a Trout's 13th home run. Well, regardless, Congress scored no matter what. Right. So, yeah, at the very least, the sack fly. Be a double at the very least, maybe a two run home run. That ball was crushed. He's got amazing power. 
Bob Davis, who was the first base umpire that was on the way out there, called it a home run. Chavez will get some warm up pitches here. In order to try to stay loose. I, yeah, I'm not so sure that it even touched the glove. It looked like it went by the there's a metal fence back there and it came back into play. Get back in uh, New York. They not only get our feeds, but also the uh, the visiting team's feeds. You look at every single camera angle possible. See, there's, a, there's a railing right up there. Right beyond the wall, you can see right there is the railing. And that's a home run if it's beyond there. If it hits that railing, it's a home run. Yeah, I mean, if it hits that the, the concrete just above the yellow line, it's a home run. That's something that the Angels added here the last couple of years. Uh, because, it, you know, just to prevent any uh, problems as far as home runs. I still can't tell if he touches it with the glove or not. Well, it definitely didn't hit the hand. No question. If anything, the glove, but it came back pretty quick. Let's look, use it one of my gloves. Look, <laughs> look at the end of the day. We're still having problems trying to determine whether yeah. or not it was a home run. So you know what it's like in New York. Yeah, it's through very the, difficult. Uh, all the footage. So right now, let's ask the fans out there. <laughs> right, yeah. center fielder. Everyone's going to say home run. This has taken a, a long time here. Trout has had two very good swings against uh, Chavez tonight. I mean, the, the short, compact swing, how he generates that type of power from that short of a swing is amazing. Now the headsets are coming off, and uh, it is uh, interference. They're, they're calling the, uh, so Trout's going to have to go back to second. The run will count. Ball has been overturned. Now they're saying that uh, Yeah, they're putting they're putting Trout at second base. Trout and Mike Sosha arguing that uh, Trout should be at third base. And the fan not interfered and the ball is basically what you're saying. Ball would have been in play that Trout would have been at third base. Very interesting. It took a long, long time also. Well, Mike Sosha has been ejected. So Mike Sosha has been ejected. And remember, you can't really argue the the replay once no. it's been come it's come back from New York you cannot argue and that's why we've seen the well, managers it, automatically and once, he, once he said about the fan interference well then there's still an option for an umpire to place a runner depending on where he thought the baseball would go off the wall or not so two things happened in New York they determined that a fan came over the railing and touched that ball of play and they also determined that Mike Trout only would have gotten the second base had that ball gone off the wall so the Angels do get a run. It's an RBI double. Man of second, one out for Albert Pools. In between that, Kurt Young, the pitching coach, had a conversation. See, that's in and out of the glove, right? It is off the glove. But it's reaching into the field of play, and that's why they're calling it as such. And he's reaching down. You can understand why they made that call in New York. But you also know that Mike Trout's running also. So Trout picks up a second RBI of the ball game. It's 13th double. Three, one Angels here in the fifth.
pulls, takes downstairs. Now the Arvis, what a swing though for no Trout. Doubt. Just as a reminder too, Major League Baseball has installed a camera in every ballpark at the top of the roof behind home plate just for that reason, so that they could see where the runner was at in relation to where the ball was interfered with in this case. This would bounce over to third. Albert chasing a changeup. Low throw. Kiaswell can't come up with it. Another error by Josh Donaldson. And also good decision for Trout. He thought about going, but didn't get far enough away from Kiaswell. Just be satisfied there's not an out made there. Good decision for Trout. Well, he played back on this slow roller to third, gathered himself in a low throw. And you have a guy playing first base is not generally a first baseman. Kiaspo, we've seen he's got good hands, but he doesn't necessarily have the footwork as a first baseman. And then able to scoop that low throw. So Hamilton will bat with two on, one out. Second error of the inning for Donaldson. Hamilton swinging a miss on a changeup. Josh went down swinging into third on an off speed pitch. Singled in the first for one for two nights so far. Little chopper to first. Kayaspa's only plays at first base. Hamilton is retired for round number two. Drop to third. Pujols to second. David Freeze 0 for 1. A strike out of the first. Walked and scored leading off the fourth. One and up. You notice the Trout's getting a good read on Chavez because he's thrown five wild pitches. He will overthrow his breaking ball on occasion. If this ball gets away, he's going to get that good secondary lead and jump and try to score the fourth run. One ball, one strike. We've seen that already tonight from, uh, from Jesse. Overthrow and breaking ball. Plays off. Two and one. Off speed. Bounce foul. He's had a good changeup working tonight. Boy, a real good changeup. Certainly a plus pitch for him. That's the discussion he wants to have now with both. Get back to a changeup. Try to high fastball. That's what he got. Freeze his first at bat. Or do you try a breaking ball? Kendrick on deck. 2-2 two, two now. Breaking pitch and he got him. Three strikes shot to end the inning. The Angels do add a run. We're through five. Three to one Halos.
to one lead. Let's go back and take a look at the uh, the ball that was seemed to have uh, interfered. I think we're going to no, we're going to take a look thing. real quick at John Jay. So oh. the difference between his stance in Oakland, we talked about that earlier, and what he's doing now at the plate, big time difference. You talked about it earlier the, 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 the squat and the stance, open stance, now standing straight up. Kind of like Jay Buhner used to stand straight up back in the day from the right side with Seattle. Little difference. Little difference with the hands are set up for him also. Jay, so Donaldson Moss here in the sixth. Jason DHO for one with a ground down and a hit by pitch. Five in a row retired by Richards since giving up the single to Cespedes. This one back up the middle, but I were we're shading him that way. One out. Now let's now let's take a look at where Mike Trout is. He hits his baseball. He's right at the base as the ball is off the wall. So he's reading that ball in play himself, and he turns on the afterburner as it gets away. There's no doubt in my mind he's thinking, and I think he would have gotten a triple at that point as they get the baseball in. Now that's the discussion Mike Sosha had with Bob Davidson, that, okay, it was fan interference, but the way Mike Trout was running and his reputation with his speed, he felt he should have been at third base. Donaldson swings to the first pitch. Eric Ibar once again. Two down. Boy, all of a sudden, a lot of fly balls early for Richards. Now, last four outs, ground ball outs. Two to Freeze, two to Ibar. And getting back into a manageable pitch count. Had two innings in which um, they kind of ballooned on him. The third, he threw 26 pitches. The fourth, he threw 22. And he'll face Moss here with two outs and nobody on. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts. That's a slightly overthrown fastball. Yeah. Hank wears it. Lifts it down the left field line. Hamilton toward the corner and Hasrum makes the catch. And it's a one, two, three inning for Garrett Richards. Quick one. Great defense behind him when you throw strikes, work quickly. The defense is there for you. Hamilton, good read to the wall. Does not take his eye off the baseball. Looks it in, gets a big out.
sixth inning. Howie Kendrick to lead things off here gets Jesse Chavez, who's thrown 75 pitches, four strikeouts, and a walk. He's also hit a man. And he has allowed six hits. It's actually hit two men. Kendrick was one of them. Raised his jersey. Nailed to Conger. One ball with strike. Now he is 0 for 1 with the strike down and that hit by a pitch and occurred in the fourth inning. That change up. That one missed. It's been very effective in this game for Jesse. Caught the ball earlier in the game with the glove. Comes back with yet another catch. An even better play. <laughs> he protected his buddy who was on the phone. Swing and a miss. And now it's time for the Carl's Junior Sports Update. Give you an update on the scoreboard in the American League. Seattle shuts out Tampa. Fourth shutout on the road trip here for Seattle. The Cleveland Browns beat the Dallas Cowboys 17 to 7. Lonnie Chisinau, three home runs, nine RBI, five for five in the game for the Cleveland Browns. In Baltimore shuts out Boston, but Norris 4 0. Detroit loses to Chicago. They get out of town and they beat the Tigers. Johnny Manziel show up for the Toronto. Kevin Pillar, my old. Player at Chaminade High School, walk-off base hit oh. for Toronto as they beat Kenny's Morales, Minnesota Twins. You going to text him tonight? Yeah. <laughs> See you soon. One ball, one strike on Eric Ibar. He's 0 for 2. A ground ball to first and a double play ball. This one fouled off the left. I was just looking at that box score for Texas. Nick Martinez had done a nice job for Texas this year. Gave up eight runs. Scott Baker gave up nine runs. He soaked up five innings, but gave up nine runs. Wow. Cleveland's been playing very good ball. We're going to see them on that next road trip. Two games over 500 now. The Central Division. It's uh, interesting all of a sudden. Cleveland's only two back of Detroit. Seemed like they were in last place the whole season. Yeah, Kansas City was off today with the uh, postponement. Chicago three and a half back. This one pulled and Sogard can't get it. It's a base hit for Ibar. One out single here in the sixth. The Tigers offensively good unit. Starting pitching staff for the most part, very good. The bullpen's been uh, oh, a little is it, His ERA is over seven as their closer. But Java gave it up yesterday. Minnesota clearly feels like they have an opportunity. That's why they went out and spent, uh, what was it, pro-rated uh, $12 million on Kendris Morales. He has some good young talent, too. Willingham swinging the bat well. We know him all too well. Is the angel, <laughs> one of the angel killers, like Sogard. We could put together a whole team. <laughs> Not that we remember all those things. Uh, it stands out, doesn't it? Yes. Certain guys, you just, for whatever reason, no matter what kind of a year they're having, they see the pitches well out of a certain opponent. Good lead for Ibar at first. Combine just fouls it at the plate. No balls on a strike. Roll is one for two. Fly ball to right. And that base hit now to shallow left field that brought home a run in the fourth. That line drive rocket to left field. That's it. Picked up his 21st RBI. David's up to count. A 
There's Ryan Cook, former USC product, getting ready. 1 1. Shot foul. Conger on deck. Oh, pulls one into right field, a base hit. Eyeball. For round second, he's going to try to go to third. Here comes the throw from Moss, and Ibar is out. Very good throw by Brandon Moss onto the bag. And hopefully, Ibar's all right. He thought he might take a shot at, especially not having Josh Reddick out in that position. But Moss, it needs absolute laser beam perfect throw. Turned on the afterburners, but a perfect throw. Looked like a little hesitation there from Eric's part, grounding yeah. the bag. Yeah, he was reading and tried and thought about it, and then at that point decides to go. But a perfect throw for Moss. So two outs, Conger at the plate. He's been on board twice, hit by a pitch and a single. Pulls this one foul. First two hit game for Rola Banya since April 28th. Base hit that Conger picked up in the fifth, a butt base hit up the third baseline. He scored on that uh, Trout double. To make it three to one Angels. It's a moonshot on the right side of the infield. Jet Lowry, the shortstop over on the second base side, makes the catch, and that'll do it for the Angels here in the sixth. We'll head to the seventh here at the big A. Three one Angels. Over game summary. It's been a good one so far. Rola Banyas, well placed, base hit in the left field, driving in. David Fries, first run. Mike Trout crushes a ball to right center field, thinks it's a two run home run, but fan interference ends up being a ground roll double, driving in one. Garrett Richards, from this point forward, has been dominant. Great fastball, great location of his fastball, consistent slider, been very good. Going in here to the seventh inning. After that one run in the second, been very good since. Sassmanis Lowry and vote here in the seventh for Oakland. 90 pitches thrown by Garrett. They're just five in the sixth. Sassmanis, however, two for two with a double and a single. 
made Garrett work both plate appearances. Caught the inside corner. The Angels get action in their bullpen with Kevin Jepson being the first man up. Watch out. O2 count. All that railing does is bring you that much closer to the field. Yes. Going to go upstairs with a fastball. Half hearted swing and taps it foul. So the count remains at 0 2. That's the one pitch from Richards. I don't necessarily feel comfortable with him going upstairs with a fastball because his best fastball is downstairs at the knees or below with sink action or that cutting action on this four seam fastball. He has to force himself to drop his elbow. Hopefully that doesn't carry on to the next pitch. This one down the left field line. Hooking out of this foul. The count remains at 0 2. Jed Lowry on deck, then Stephen Boat. See what I mean about the carryover effect from that high fastball? It's been back to back high pitches, high fastball in, and then followed by a high curveball because it's not able to get that. Front shoulder tucked in long enough to be able to snap the slider away. And he got him this time. One down. Strikeout number four for Garrett. Now it's time for the ATT fan photo of the game. Remember to tweet us your photos using hashtag WestFanPhoto. Your photo could be used in an upcoming broadcast. Karen Trinkle, we appreciate your uh, submission there. A rally Monkey action going. Again, send us a tweet, picture, hashtag West Fan Photo. Jed Lowry, the shortstop. Open two. He's popped out to Ibar, hit a fly ball to left as he cuts through the first one. Well, that's a nice slider. That's back to back perfect sliders from Richards. One to get the swing and miss to Cespedes, followed by that one for a hitter's looking fastball early, committed to a swing, chases a slider. With a changeup, 89 mile an hour changeup from Richards. Still bringing that good velocity on his fastball. That 99th pitch of the game for Richards, 96 mile an hour four seam fastball. There's the one two. This one's pulled to second. Two down. So vote will step to the plate. RBI single for vote in the second inning a fly ball to center in the fourth. Ten in a row, retired by Richards. That pitch is downstairs. Garrett started this game with a 3 0 count on Coco Crisp. The back of the count. Crisp to hit the fly ball on, had a 1 2 3 first. And when he has gotten out of sync, he's been able to get back on track. What a one. Taylor throw his breaking ball. 
for a strike. His first inning, 98 mile an hour best fastball. This inning, 97. He's been able to maintain that exact same velocity, which is extremely impressive. One and two now. A lot of times you'll see a guy start off the game 97, 98, and then all of a sudden it will fall down, especially after you're over that century mark and pitches 91 to 94 range. But he's maintained not only the velocity, but the movement, the sink and cut action on his fastball. Garrett in that start against Houston the last time out, 107 pitches. We can get vote here. This may be his last batter of the game. Okay, Aspel on deck. Ground ball to the right side. Howie almost comes up with it on the dive. It goes over his glove, and it's a two out single. Second hit of the night for vote. Howie well, with the dive in the outfield grass, just over the glove. Great effort from Howie. The foe picks up his second hit. Cogger out to pay a visit. 105 pitches for Richards. Kayasco coming up. Twice has hit a fly ball to left field. Hamilton shallow and left as he has been for his two previous plate appearances for Kayasco. Jepson ready to go on the pad. Want to know? Yeah, be careful too with Kiaspo down in that uh, yeah. down an end zone. Zach, I was thinking the same thing. I'm, I'm I'm using that big part of the field. I'm going fastballs away or back door a slider in the outside corner. Ground ball to short. Ibar will force out both. That'll do it for the A's here in the seventh. In the seventh inning stretch time at the big A. Three, one Angels. of the seventh seed, trying to get some more runs. Take a look at the rest of the series. Good pitching matchup for tomorrow. Hector Santiago getting a start, coming up from AAA. Taking the place of Tyler Skaggs, who was scratched for a hamstring issue. Drew Pomerantz, very good, talented left-handed pitcher. Tommy Malone, pride of Saugus High School and USC, in a start on Wednesday against Jared Weaver, 7-4 with a 3.31 ERA. A lot of fun left in this series.
Tommy Malone on the left, Drew Pomerantz on the right. New pitcher on the mound for the Oakland A's, Ryan Cook. Takes over for Jesse Chavez. Cook pitching in his 15th game. Oh, and one record of 3.29 ERA. Good stuff, but he's been on the uh, disabled list twice already this year. Last time out, uh, right forearm strain. Yeah, fastball 91 95 slider. A lot more sliders this year and changeup. Overall average velocity down about two miles per hour this season as compared to what we've seen for the norm from Brian Cook. Angels at the top of the order here in the seventh. Calhoun trout and pools. Cook originally in the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks organization. And the first one to Cole. Down and in. Third season for Ryan Cook in an Oakland A's uniform. Cole one for three. Base hit in the third. Counted one ball, one strike. Java is six innings, eight hits, five strikeouts, one walk, two hit batters, three runs, two earned. I'm impressed with him. He really competes extremely well. Knows how to pitch. Calhoun shoots this one down the left field line. Cespin is giving chase and has it go in and out of his glove. Calhoun will stop at second. And we'll see how they rule that. Boy, off the bat, I didn't think Cespedes would have any chance to get there. But he's a center fielder by trade. You can see the wheels he has. He got there and unable to catch the ball in the glove. Didn't look it all the way in. Good swing on a high fastball. Went the other way. It was good to see from Cole to go that way. Off the glove. He boarded with a double. Ninth head of the night for the Angels. I agree with you. That ball off the bat it seemed as if it had a chance to get down, but Jasper uh, has got some unbelievable closing speed. I, I was just thinking, I was hoping I would just not go over the short wall and maybe rattle around in the corner for a triple. Trout one for two. Fly ball to left, a sack fly in the third, and then that double off the top of the wall there with the fan interference brought in a run. 45 runs batted in for Trout now. Breaking ball that kind of got away from Cook. 2 0. Double by Calhoun. The fourth time the Angels have had their leadoff man reach an inning to start it in. The first three have scored. Takes a strike. It's a big run to be able to add on. You have your middle part of your lineup coming up right now, especially with Calhoun already in scoring position. Time is called at the plate. Took a 27th round pick by the Diamondbacks out of USC. They over to Oakland in that uh, Trevor Cahill trade. 2 1. Upstairs. Three balls and a strike. Multiple player deal. It was back in 2011. Jared Parker part of that deal too. That worked out well for Oakland. Three one, and he takes a strike on the inside corner. Full count. They clean in the fastball in the inside corner. Nine five on three one pitch. He can be trying to throw a fastball away. Trout trying to hit a ball at the very least to the right side of the infield. Here's a three two, and that's way out shot of the breaking ball. Pretty good job by both to catch that hard slider well off the plate. So Albert will bat with runners at first and second and nobody out. Who holds one for three, a single back in the first. Kurt 
Youngman who had to talk to Ryan Cook. Over strategy, get him to slow down, overthrowing his slider for sure. And give some guys down to the bullpen some time to get ready. Now, Oakland has a couple of guys going in their bullpen right now. Double barrel action to Johnson, the right hander, Fernando Abad, the lefty. Hamilton's on deck. This could be Cook's last battle. What it out. Coco Chris playing a deep center field. Sogar, the second baseman, shading toward the middle, trying to keep Calhoun close to the back. Play Albert to uh, pull on the infield. Attack to an out. And if you're Albert, you're looking for one zone right now. You're in a great fastball count. Bottom part of the strike zone. That's good with a layoff, especially when you're ahead of the count. That's a tough ball to lift. Yeah, that's a ground ball pitch. Well, you want to avoid that, you want something elevated. Now the 2 1 from Cook. This one's out toward right. Playable for Boss. One down. Hamilton coming to the plate now. Abad, who would figure, is ready to go on the bullpen. Here goes Bob Melvin. Yep. That's exactly what we're going to see here. That's going to be it for Cook. He'll face three batters. Two getting on base. Calhoun with a double on the ball that uh, in, in and out of the glove of Cespedes and left. And Trout with a walk. Pujols to fly ball to Rice. We have ourselves a pitching change in the seventh with one out. The Angels leading at three to one. Bottom of the seventh with a couple of men on and one out. I want to remind you that tonight's game is being powered by Energy Upgrade California. Manage energy and help California stay golden. Visit energyupgradeca.org. Fernando Abad, the left-hander, is coming to this ball game. This will be the 31st game the lefty has pitched in this year. One and two record. 1.78 earned run average. And Abad fastball is 91 to 95. Very good curveball changeup. Lefties. Tough time against them. It's 152. Five for 33. Hamilton, though, has swung the bat well against left handed pitching this season, including a couple hits against Chris Sale just the other night. Came up in the Astros organization last year, was with the Nationals. It's in 39 games, put up good numbers, and the Oakland A's acquired him. 
for a minor league infielder by the name of John Wooten. He's put up terrific numbers this year for the Athletics. Facing Hamilton this year against lefties, he's done pretty well. Seven for 16 so far. He's got Calhoun at second. And Trout at first. Breaking ball first pitch. One ball, no strikes. Josh tonight, one for three, a single back of the first. Off speed pitch, caught the inside corner to even the count. Devon picked up the win Friday against Baltimore. Remember the 15 game losing streak going back to April 9, 2011 for the lefty. What a two. He's thrown Hamilton three straight curveballs. See him in here for one batter. David Freeze on deck. Jim Johnson ready to go. Now they'll break the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, I believe he's going to throw another breaking ball, even 2 2. So here comes Melvin, and that's going to be it for a bond. Earned his cheat tonight. Bond will uh, depart. Jim Johnson will enter the ball game. Three-one Angels versus Elma Seven. Seven, the two outs. Want to remind you that the 2014 All-Star Game, July 15th, the Target Field in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Be sure to vote Mike Trout, Eric Ibar, Albert Pujols, and the rest of the Angels for this year's Midsummer Classic. For more info and to vote, just log on at angels.com. Jim Johnson on in relief. Right-hander, former closer. Struggled this year. This will be his 25th game. 3-2 and two mark, a 6.46 ERA. Very heavy sinker, 92-96 with his fastball. Curveball changeup. Facing David Freeze, 0 for 2 tonight with a walk. And the first pitch is a breaking ball for a strike. Johnson has allowed 10 runs over his last 11 outings. And that's after he had a nice uh, streak of a 10 and a third scoreless. Bouncer foul and it's 0 2. Well, the Angels getting the first two base runners on board here in the seventh. The double by Calhoun, the walk to Trout. Pools unable to do anything to kick the fly ball to right. Hamilton struck out with a bond into the game. 
It's up to David Freeze to tack on some runs here. One and two. Joe Smith will be pitching the eighth. Nine one and two do up for the Athletics. So guard Crispin J. So barring any pinch hitters. Called strike three on the outside corner. The Angels leave two men on board. Seven complete. Three to one Angels. Store, your one stop shop for your small business needs. And by Mercury Insurance. Get a fast free code at mercuryinsurance.com to see how much you can save. Almost 37,000 here tonight for game one of this three game set against the division leading Oakland Athletics. Garrett Richards done after seven innings, four hits, four strikeouts, no walks, did hit a batter. One run, it was earned. A yeah, fantastic performance for him. 107 pitches. New third baseman John McDonald takes over for David Freeze. And a new pitcher on the mound is Joe Smith to face Eric Sogard, Coco Crisp, and John Jason 9 1 and 2 for the A's. Well, the key is always for to get ahead for Joe. Keep the ball down. Use that sweeping slider. Sink that fastball 89 to 93 range. Get some quick ground ball outs. What a job by Garrett Richards. No walks again. That's back to back games with no walks. 15 innings, one earned run, zero walks, and 13 strikeouts. Second consecutive outing for Smith. Yesterday against the White Sox, allowed a run on three hits, lasting just two thirds of an inning. Trying to bounce back. Sogard looks at a strike. He's 0 for 2, but the strikeout looking in the third inning and a ground ball to David Freeze in the fifth. McDonald playing in over third. Slider. That's a called strike and it's over two. Twenty seventh game for Joe Smith this year. Comes in with a two and zero mark, three twenty ERA. That's a called strike three. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. As Sogard is the first out here in the eighth. Twice Sogard is punched out in the game. Oh, that two seam fastball running back, getting the bottom part of the strike zone at 91. Coco Chris, the center fielder, 0 for 3. Fly ball out, two ground outs. Takes a strike.
Oakland with a run on four hits. They've committed two errors, both by Donaldson. And have stranded four. Angels with three runs, nine hits. Eight men left on base. Golden opportunity in that seventh inning to add some insurance runs. Uh, great location, a backdoor slider from Joe Smith. One ball, two strikes. Come back inside with that two saver, evens up the count. Try to do the exact same thing against Sogard. Try to run it, start at the hip, and then bring it back in the strike zone, but it stayed true in and off the inside corner. Two two now. Look pretty good. Pretty close. Full count. Target set. And right just off the outside corner. It's a tough pitch to lay off of your Coco Chris. Any left handed batter. You tracking it. 3 2. Fouled off. It's the third time in this game Coco Chris has had a full count against him. John Jason, the DA John Deck. Another three two. Ground ball is short. Ibar will have to hurry. Oh, well two played down. by Ibar. The ball stayed true to the ground. Well, this stayed low all the way to the glove and then the throw over to Albert Pujols. We'll get that key second out, especially with Chris. Done a good job against him all night so far. 0 for 4 for Coco Chris. Albert using the, uh, the two hands there. Doing that a little bit more so lately. Oh, what down on Jason? He thought that was ball one. Jason for two, two ground outs. So it's been hit by a pitch. One ball, one strike. Joe looks a little bit more under control today as far as his mechanics. And so from that arm angle, so important not to jump too quick off the pitching rubber. Yeah, we've seen him at times as he's coming set. He's almost kind of uh, going down the hill. Foul back. Big rip by Jason, and it's one and two. Kind of drifting down the slope. And it, it forced him to really play catch up with his throwing arm. The Angels at the bottom of the eighth inning have Kendrick Ibar and Ibanez do up. So Johnson struck out freeze to end the seventh. So who uh, Bob Melvin goes to in the eighth. They do have action in their pen. Now the one-two. Foul back. Good target set up for Hank Conger. He's done a nice job throughout this whole game of forcing his pitchers to hit a spot where he wants the pitch thrown. And with the low target, he's forcing that glove down to make sure if you miss, it's going to be even lower than that. Josh Donaldson on deck for Oakland. Breaking ball, got him looking. He locked up Jason. It's a 1 2 3 8. We'll head to the bottom of the inning. 3 to 1 Angels.
I want to remind you that MLB.tv Premium, the number one live streaming sports service, is celebrating 12 years. Join the millions of subscribers. Watch every out-of-market game live at True HD on over 400 devices. Visit angels.com for details. Jim Johnson back out of the mound here at the bottom of the eighth inning. Howie Kendrick to lead things off. First one down in the dirt. Now we over two, a couple of strikeouts, hit by a pitch. All three of those plate appearances. It's Jesse Chavez, the starter for Oakland, went six innings, gave up three runs, two earned on eight hits and five strikeouts. Two balls, no strikes. Jim Johnson acquired in the offseason from the Orioles. Not too often you see a, a, a closer with back to back 50 saves, 50 plus saves. He had 51 two years ago, 50 last year. Get traded, but that's what the Baltimore did. Johnson started the season as the Oakland closer and struggled right out of the gate. Chopper to third. Donaldson has that's a fair ball. Low throw, and he throws it away. And it goes into the dugout. That's a three hour game for Josh Donaldson. And importantly, Howie Kendrick goes into scoring position. Again, it gets back to the fact that you have a guy playing the first base doesn't have a lot of experience in that hard low throw from Donaldson twice. Cost them an error on the low throw. It's not an easy position to play if you're used to being a middle infielder to read the baseball off, whether it's a long hop or short hop as a first baseman. Boy, quick glance, Gooby. This is the, uh, the first multi era game of Donaldson's brief career. Well, we've seen him make so many outstanding plays yeah. defensively. I'm surprised that Eric Ibar was swinging away there. Of course, Kayasco to field the bunt down the first baseline to allow. How would he get the third base? Oh, we saw this too back in uh, the fourth inning. Eric was allowed to swing away, rolled into a double play. Now he pushes the ball on the third base side. Donaldson, no, Johnson picks it up and he's got no play. Donaldson tried to call him off. And that's the third baseman's ball. Once that ball gets to that point, you got to get out of the way if you're a pitcher. It's an easier play for a third baseman coming in on the baseball. A real good bunt, too, by Ibar right down the line. But Johnson gets in the way of Donaldson. I'll tell you what, when you have a game like that for Donaldson defensively, the ball is always going to find you. And that would have been a tough play for Donaldson using the bare hand to try to throw Ibar out. Ends up getting a base hit. Yeah. Second hit of the ball game for Eric. So runners at first and third. Infield in with Abanez at the plate. Abanez. Two for three. A couple of singles and an RBI. Down and hit. And Abanya is a good low ball hitter. And Joe Johnson, a sinker ball pitcher. Hey, Aspa holding Ivar on at first base. This one pulled to Kayaspo. His only plays at first. So one out, runners in second and third. Hank Conger coming up. That's the three are getting ready. Like that ground out the Angels tonight, three for 13 with better scoring position. Well, this is a huge run at third base to get in if you're Hank Conger. Kendrick at third, Ibar at second, infield again in. Lowry, the shortstop, shading toward the middle.
Here's the 1 0. Had to go down and get the off speed pitch. One ball, one strike. Mack batting in the ninth spot of the order. One for two. Hit by a pitch. Fought base hit. Two runs scored for Hank. See how difficult the Johnson is on. And that's a heavy sink yeah. on this fastball. Rule of thumb if you're a hitter, you see that fastball going at the knees, take it. It's not going to stay in the strike zone. Too much sink on it will be out of the zone once it crosses the plate. Big lead for Ibar at second base. Two one. Hank lays off. Three balls at a strike. They wanted to peel. Did not go. So James Hoyt. You can see that fastball. It started at the knees and then it ended up being in the dirt. That movement he has. Top of the order, Cole Calhoun on deck. Three one now. Hank, that was it off his body. Big rip from Hank, too. Now you got to shorten up the swing if you're Hank. You're just trying to get the job done. You want to sack fly. Jasper is playing shallow and left. Chris a couple of steps to his left to the alley of right center. Moss pretty much straight up and right. There comes the payoff. And that is hit to right field. And that'll get down for a knock. One run is in. Ibar will stop at third base. Great. RBI single for Hank. Great job by Hank Conger getting that baseball and driving into the right field for a base hit. And he kept that eye level right on that low part of the strike zone and successfully gets a base hit in the right field. So the error by Donaldson comes back to Hunt. Well, he really turns over his fastball to create sink, but it was at the knees. Bob Melvin maybe going back down to the bullpen. Hank picks up his 16th run batted in. Or maybe go over more offensive strategy. Cole Calhoun, a two for four nine. Single and a double. That Bob Melvin, he's always aware of Mike Sosha, even though Mike's been ejected out of the game, he still has an influence on this game, the potential for maybe a suicide squeeze. Ibar third base, Conger at first. Calhoun skies with a shallow right. Moss under it, makes the catch. Ibar's coming home. No, he stops. And Conger goes to second. Yeah, a lot of times you may do that, but when you know who's coming up next, you're going to not going to take that chance. That ball was not hit that deep. And also a great decision here at first base by Conger. He's tagging up, going. Reason why, if there's a play, maybe it's second base, cuts it off, throws it, you're getting a run down and score, but the reality is you've created an open base. Or it also gives you an opportunity if you're Oakland to walk Mike Trout. And that was one of those plays, too, that uh, Hank was going to second regardless of where that throw was. And sometimes you see a base runner just kind of get a read. If it's not going to be able to cut off, then you take off. And, th and you know in that spot that you have to make the throw to the plate because you can't afford to give up another run. It's a wise decision to get in a scoring position. You've taken away a force play with the speed of Mike Trout at the plate. Trout swings the first one, hits one out to shallow right. Moss moving toward the foul line, and he'll make the catch to end the inning. The Angels do get a run on a couple of hits and a big error by Donaldson. We head to the ninth. And that's DeFrieri coming on to try to lock it down. Four to one Angels.
Top of the ninth here at the Big A. 4-1 Angels on top. Ernesto Frieri finishing up his warm-up tosses. When he's done, he'll face Donalds and Moss and Cespedes. That's 4-5-6. and six. Stick around after the last down. The Angels live post-game presented by your SoCal Mazda dealers. Ken French and Jose Moda will break it down for you. With an assist, Alex Kerr. Ernesto pitching in his 29th game. 0-3 record, 4.33 earned run average. 10 saves on the year. Ernesto with 27 innings, 23 hits, 33 strikeouts, and 7 walks. Ernesto pitched uh, yesterday to pick up that 10th save against the Chicago White Sox. One inning, two strikeouts, a walk and a hit. The walk was an intentional walk. Now we see the pitch hitter Adam Dunn. That run the Angels put on the board at the bottom of the eighth, unearned to Jim Johnson. Josh Donaldson steps in. That's at 4, 5, and 6, actually 3, 4, and 5 for the Athletics partner. Donaldson 0 for 3. Two ground outs and a fly ball to left. A great bounce back inning for Joe Smith to set up Ernesto Freire in this spot to be able to pick up a save. Yeah, one inning, three batters. Two strikeouts for Joe. Oh, one now. Breaking ball on the corner over two. Another breaking pitch. That's a ball of two strikes on Donaldson. Both get her at third base. American League team. One, two. In tight. Two balls and two strikes. Four hits for the Athletics tonight. Two by Cespedes, two by Vogt. Jared Richards, seven innings, one run. Joe Smith, one, and now a free error here in the ninth. Here's the two, two. Called strike three on the outside corner. Down goes Donaldson. One down. Boy, painted the outside corner with a fastball. Target set. Just catching that outside part of the plate. One of our Fox tracks. Hank Congress set up a consistent strike zone throughout this whole game. The target. Even that sign and then showing emphatically where he wants that pitch thrown. Boss, the right fielder, 0 for 3. A couple of strikeouts and a fly ball to left. And that was to the uh, outfield corner, left field corner. Josh Hamilton making a terrific play on that ball. That ended the sixth inning. Foul back, 0 and 2. Rieri's 0-2 is cut on it. Missed down goes Moss. Two down. Boy, when Ernesto could create that deception with his fastball, the lateral movement, even for a left-handed batter, very difficult to track. That lateral movement running away misses it by a lot. Jasmine is two for three with a double, a single, and a strikeout. One out away from making it four in a row for the Halos. Really slowed things down the off-speed pitch, and it's one ball, no strikes. Importantly, an opportunity to pick up a game in the standings.
1 0 pitch. Just off. Two balls and no strikes. 36,838 tonight on this Monday night. Turned out to be a very good crowd. So, a very good pitching performance by Garrett Richards and Jesse Chavez, who threw the ball well. Three runs, two earned for Chavez in six innings. 2 0. That's what it's taking. He takes a strike. Drew Pomerantz going for the Athletics tomorrow night. Hector Santiago getting called up and make the start. In place of Tyler Skaggs, who was placed on the 15th day disabled list. It will be a hamstring issue. 2 1 now. This one's fouled back to the right. Two balls, two strikes. Two. Almost got Cespedes to even think about that breaking ball. It's a full count. It's Jet Lowry on deck. Three two. Swing and a miss. Down goes Cespedes. Light that baby up as the Angels take the first one against the Oakland A's. 4-1 the final. What an outstanding effort. Mike Trout, big game. Sack fly. Ground rule double. Ernesto picks up his 11th save. Hank Conger outstanding himself. Darren Richards picked up the win. His sixth. Although no home runs were hit in this game, the home run challenge continues through Father's Day. Make your pledge by going online to homerunchallenge.org. Well, what a game. Well played, Josh Hamilton. His first game against Oakland this year. Part of that victory. Base hit. Some nice plays in the outfield, but well pitched. You mentioned Garrett Richards. He was dominant seven. Joe Smith, very good in his one, two, three inning. Ernesto Ferreira strikes out the side, picking up his 11th save. A well played game defensively on the mound and just enough hitting to be able to beat this Oakland A's club. I think you said it best, too. Tonight, although Garrett Richards did a terrific job, he had to get the job done on the mound. Hank Conger had a fantastic game behind the plate, and uh, he wore it a couple of times, too, tonight, not only defensively, but also offensively. Yeah, he got a couple big hits. I'll tell you, way he framed the baseball was outstanding today. He certainly did. Hank, uh, a big part of this victory for the Angels. He's down on the field with Alex Curry. Thank you, Victor. Hank, facing the top team in the AOS, a team you guys have struggled with a bit at times, how big is it to start the series off with a win? Oh, it's huge. Uh, you know, they're coming in, they're the best team in baseball with their record, and uh, for us, we just go out here and try to compete, try to not worry about the past, and uh, put together a good game, and uh, we went very well tonight. You showed off some wheels tonight with that aggressive base running. Was that a focus tonight? Uh... <laughs> Not really. I mean, I don't have wheels. <laughs> I like to think that I uh, have wheels, but I really don't. Give yourself a little bit of credit. Right. Now, back-to-back -back great start for Garrett Richards. What is he doing so well in the mound right now? I think he's just really pounding the zone. Um, you know, his stuff's always going to be there. He has great stuff. So it's a matter of him just trying to hone in, try to attack the strike zone with his fastball and off-speed pitches, and uh, he did outstanding tonight. Congratulations on a great win. Uh -huh, thanks, Alex. Well, there you have it. Angels take game one of this series for a final of four to one. But don't go anywhere because Kent French and Jose Moda will break it all down next for you on Angels Live, presented by your SoCal Mazda dealer.